I love everyday carry items like multi-tools and wallets, but I find it particularly difficult to make review videos about them because they are simple items or basic items. To make a grossly oversimplification, a knife only has one blade and the wallet only carries cards and bills. That is why it's almost impossible to make an entertaining video without repeating yourself in every single video. Furthermore, I'm very happy with my current EDC loadout. But what happens if I challenge myself and change my whole EDC setup for two to three weeks and then figure out what works best and potentially might stay in my future EDC? So in this new series, Searching for the Best EDC, I challenged myself to switch out my long-term tested EDC with a whole new setup. My current EDC consists of my Steinhardt Ocean 500 Titanium Watch, a Fitbit, my Nightcore MT1A flashlight, my Swiss Army Knife Super Tinker, my Orbit Key, a Night IZ S Binar, and last but not least, my favorite wallet, the Secret Wallet. Since this is the first episode of Searching for the Best EDC, I was only able to find items for the most important EDC items. Knife, carabiner, keys and wallet. This is the James Brand Atlas. I wouldn't call this a multi-tool, but rather a knife plus because it only has a bottle opener, a flathead screwdriver and a scraper in addition to the partially serrated blade. The blade has a liner lock and is only openable with two hands. It has a very compact form factor that fits nicely in your front pocket. But if you want to hang it onto your carabiner, there is this loop on the end of the knife. Speaking of carabiner, this is the James brand Melville. It's a very creative design for a carabiner and I like the look quite a lot. This mechanism basically makes sure that you don't lose anything when detaching or attaching the carabiner from your belt loop by accident. A pretty neat addition is this bottle opener. Many people like to attach their keys to the carabiner, but I keep my keys in my front pocket because I always use a key organizer. I did not switch the key organizer completely for this episode. I switched my regular Orbit key with the limited edition Orbit key that was made in collaboration with EverydayCarry.com. Further, I added a couple of add-ons to the Orbit key. The mirror slash nail file, the multi-tool and the USB 3 flash drive. This limited edition version is made out of Ballistic Nylon 500D Cordura, which gives this a nice look and a better grip in the hand. But other than that, it's not superior over the regular version. But these add-ons make the Orbit Key such a great tool. Having an USB 3 flash drive and a bottle opener at hand all the time is very helpful. The mirror isn't necessary, but I added it to make the set complete. The last but probably most important item in addition to the keys is the wallet. I switched to the Bellroy Hide and Seek wallet and this was definitely the most challenging switch of all of them because this is the complete opposite of what I was used to. This is a bifold style wallet with 6 card slots that overall fit about 10 cards in my experience. This version is designed for dollars because I wanted a smaller form factor. You can fit euro bills into it, but anything bigger than a 50 will stick out slightly at the top. But obviously there is also a version for euro bills. There's also a hidden compartment that you can use for bills or coins. But since I always store my wallet in the back pocket of my jeans, I prefer not to keep coins in my wallet to leave the wallet as slim as possible. Like all Bellroy wallets, it's made out of premium leather. So this was the new setup that I used for 2-3 to three weeks. What's my verdict and which items do I keep in my EDC? I expected to be underutilized with the James brand Alice, but it turned out that 90% of the time, a blade and a bottle opener is more than enough. I really enjoyed using this knife and I really loved the look. However, I do live in Germany and this knife has a liner lock, which is prohibited by law. 
but it also is two-handed opening so I'm not 100% sure if this knife is actually prohibited by law. Nevertheless I wanted to be sure so I switched back to the Swiss Army knife just in case. Continuing with James Brand, I actually stopped using the Melville Carabiner. This is an awesome looking and very useful carabiner and I can highly recommend it if you keep all of your keys on the carabiner. I unfortunately need to switch between sets of keys quite often. Sometimes I need my motorcycle keys, sometimes I need my car keys, sometimes I need my keys for the lock of my bicycle. So I switch keys quite often and switching keys on the Melville is a little bit fiddly in my opinion. That is why I prefer having the S-Biner on my belt loop and then just attach the specific key onto it. That being said, I only use the S-Biner for those bigger keys that I switch often. The Orbit key always stays in my front pocket and I have to admit with this Orbit key I kind of cheated on this video. I basically only changed the design and added some mods. So I can highly recommend the Orbit key and I would suggest to add the USB 3 flash drive. And for good measure I would also add the multi-tool. The Belroy Hide and Seek was something that I'm struggling with. Not because I dislike it, but because it is a great wallet, but it's not better than my secret wallet. I really like the look, design and build quality of this wallet. And I assumed or expected that I would dislike the slow way to get to my cards compared to the secret wallet's mechanism. But in practice, it didn't bother me at all. The only thing that bothered me, or let's say worried me, was the size of the wallet. The secret wallet is so small it basically disappears in my back pocket. The hide and seek wallet opposed to its name does not hide in your back pocket, but rather is a little bit visible in your back pocket. So I always kind of worried that it might get pickpocketed or it slides out when I'm sitting down. Furthermore, the very soft and high quality leather feels great, but it does not provide any protection against bending if you sit on the wallet. This was actually one of the main reasons why many years ago I bought the secret wallet with its aluminum casing. I actually broke my driver's license because I was sitting on my old wallet way too often and way too long. So in the end, I switched back from the hide and seek wallet to my favorite wallet, which is the secret wallet. So this was the very first episode of searching for the best EDC. Let me know in the comment section below, what's your favorite item in your personal everyday carry? And like always, if you have any more questions, please comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss the next videos. Thank you very much.